Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Kelly. This is Kay Bella Beauty, and today is my very first Test It Out Tuesday update video. So if you're not familiar with my Test It Out Tuesday series, I did start it in the beginning of 2018, and I decided that every two to three to four weeks or so, I would test out a product that's new to me, not necessarily always going to be new in general, but new to me. And so my Test It Out Tuesdays are first impressions. That's why I decided after I try out two to three to four products, I would come back together and film an updated review video where I talk about each of the products. I've now been using them for at least a month so I can share a full review, my full thoughts, and at the end of this video, there will be a little bit of a giveaway. If you have not already checked out the three videos for the products that we're going to be talking about today, I will list them all down below so that you can check those out first if you're interested. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. Let's jump into these three products and I will share my final thoughts with you guys. My very first Test It Out Tuesday series video was on some new Wet n Wild products. I did pick up the Wet n Wild color icon in the shade Rosé in the air, as well as some Wet n Wild brushes. So I do have the P70, which is a blush brush, the P75, which is a highlighting brush, and three eyeshadow brushes. One is the P20, the P15, and the P10. And I ordered all of these products on the Wet n Wild website. So. Let's talk about the brushes first. In all honesty, I'm not interested in these face brushes and I haven't really used them a lot. This blush brush isn't exactly what I look for in a brush to apply blush. I typically like more fluffier brushes. This one's a little bit dense and I typically don't go for the round brushes. I like more of an angled or a fluffy brush. And as far as highlight goes, I just felt a little awkward applying my highlight with this brush and I tried it a few more times after my first impression but I found that I wasn't really reaching for these brushes so if you're really into face brushes these might be a good option for you but for me I would pass over these as far as the eye brushes go I do really enjoy these eye brushes and I have been using them I have found that I reach for them I really like this guy in the crease if I'm trying to do some detail work I'll use the p15 and then the p10 is actually really good for packing in color in your outer corner now these do look very clean because I actually finally washed my makeup brushes yesterday, but I do really, really like these brushes. I have been using them and I would recommend them. As far as the eyeshadow palette goes, I really, really like it. I am someone who does enjoy Wet n Wild eyeshadows. I mean, you can get 10 shades for $5.99. Like, that is amazing. I feel like the quality is really, really good. Some of these shades, are not as smooth as the others. Like these two orange reddish shades are very, very smooth, but then like the magenta and the deeper brown, like they have a little bit more of a gritty texture, but I still find that all of these shadows apply beautifully on the eyes. They blend out really easily, and this is definitely a palette that I can see myself traveling with because it's nice and compact. They give you a couple eye suggestions on the back if you're someone who's not very, very good with makeup, and this is kind of a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I actually filmed a whole video where I compared this palette to the ABH palette. I did an eyeshadow look, one on each eye, so I will link that up above or down below if you're interested. But I definitely recommend these palettes and I'm actually interested in picking up a couple more. Next up was the Fenty Beauty sponge. I wanted to try something from Fenty Beauty and I found that this sponge was very, very interesting looking. Now in my video, I did kind of compare this to the Beauty Blender because the Beauty Blender is the only other sponge that I found myself reaching for. So when I compare this to the Beauty Blender, I find this to be a lot softer. I used this for several weeks before going back to my Beauty Blender. And when I was using my Beauty Blender, I was like, kind of feels like I'm hitting myself in the face because I did find that the Fenty sponge was a lot softer. However, I don't like the tip. I much prefer the tip of the Beauty Blender because it's really, really hard. Even with this flat top, it's hard for me to get in the inner corner. So this sponge is really good for applying foundation. You can blend out your concealer. It's just really hard to get into that inner corner. And it is good if you wanna put some powder 
underneath your contour and kind of bake your powder to make it pop. I find that it's super soft, it's very squishy, it didn't hold too much foundation, so this is a really, really good sponge and it's cheaper than the Beauty Blender. However, I find myself still reaching for the Beauty Blender because I, I definitely prefer the pointed tip to really get into that inner crease. But if you're looking to spend a little bit less money than the Beauty Blender, I do think that this would be a good alternative. And my final Test It Out Tuesday was over the ColourPop No Filter Concealers. I did get two shades. I got the shade Fair and the shade Light. Actually, this is Light 20 and this is Fair 5. And in my first impression, I did say that the light shade looked like it was a little bit darker than what I was going for, but the fair was a little bit lighter than what I was going for, and I have actually been mixing the two. So when I use this on a day-to-day -day basis, if I was doing like a no foundation look, I would go for the light, but I do find that the fair isn't too fair for me. So these actually dry down a little bit darker than initial application. Nothing crazy, like it's not like a super like drastic difference where you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I can't use this anymore. But I did find that once they dried down on the skin a little bit, they did get a little bit darker. So the light shade isn't quite enough of a pop for me, but the fair I still think would be a bit too fair on its own. So I've been mixing these and I do use the fair when I highlight like my forehead down my nose and on, the, on my chin a little bit, but for six bucks, I really, really like these. They do crease a little bit under the eyes, a little bit more so than some of my high-end concealers, but nothing crazy. I mean, everything creases on my under eyes, like even Tarte Shape Tape, Urban Decay, NARS, like everything creases for me. So I really like these, and I actually have been using these two concealers every single day since I got them, so I definitely recommend it. Those are my final thoughts on the three products that I have tested out so far in 2018. And I decided when I was doing this Tested Out Tuesday series that I did kind of want to not only review the products, but also have a little bit of a giveaway in each update video. Now these giveaways are going to be much smaller because they're going to be more frequent, but I did kind of want to give away a product that I really, really found that I enjoyed or that I liked when I tried it out. So for my very first Test It Out Tuesday giveaway. I am giving away two brand new Wet n Wild Color Icon palettes. This one is Rose in the Air, which is the, the palette that was featured in my video, but I also did pick up the new Comfort Zone palette. I actually got both of these at Walmart. They were in stock, so I picked them both up, and this Comfort Zone is actually supposed to be like a new formula and a new remake to the old comfort zone. So I haven't compared them. I don't have the old comfort zone anymore, but I know that that was a really, really popular palette. So I decided to pick both of these up and these are going to be given to one winner. All of the giveaway details will be linked down below, but just to kind of let you know, it is starting today on March 20th and it is going to run for three weeks ish. It's going to end on Monday, April 9th and it's not ending on a Tuesday because on that Tuesday, I wanna go ahead and pick a winner. So we're gonna to start today. It's gonna to run through April 9th. You do need to be 18 or older to enter and that's just gonna be easier for me. We don't have to give parental consent and if you are someone who is under the age of 18, then you kind of wanna be careful if you're giving out your address and stuff to a complete stranger. So 18 and up to enter. I do have a link down below to the giveaway generator, if you wanna call it. And so if you click that link, you'll be able to log in and enter your information. The only mandatory thing when entering this giveaway is that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. That's a must, but that's the only thing that you have to do. However, there are some ways that you can earn bonus entries, like visiting my Instagram, following me on Twitter, sending out a tweet, and some of those are daily entries if you're interested in going back every day and entering that way. And just so that you know, if you're not familiar with giveaways, I typically don't do a whole lot because I've found that people can be like, really, really nasty when they don't win. And the thing that I just want you guys to know is that I don't pick the winner. This generator is going to pick the winner for me. So you wanna make sure that you use an email that I can reach you at because I have found in the past that the generator picks a winner and then the person never contacts me back. And so I am able to then go in there and like say, hey, 
this person didn't answer me back, so pick a new winner. But I really, really want you to get the product if you are the winner. So make sure that you do list an address that you will respond to when emailed or definitely make sure that you at least check your email address on April 10th because the giveaway is going to end on April 9th. I will pick a winner on April 10th and I will give that person 24 hours to respond back to me. And if I haven't heard from you on April 11th, then I'm gonna go ahead and pick a new winner. So make sure you are 18 and older. Also, this is only going to be open to the US and Canada just because shipping internationally is very expensive. So I would like to save that for bigger giveaways. For my Test It Out Tuesday, it's going to be US and Canada because they're a little bit smaller giveaways and that's just a little bit less shipping for me to pay for. So that is it for this video. Again, you can find all of the giveaway info in the bottom bar in the description bar down below. If you did like this update video, if you did like hearing my final thoughts on these products, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so before you go so that you can enter the giveaway, but also because I am going to be doing a drugstore week next week. I'm going to be posting a video every day from Monday to Saturday. They will be all drugstore related. It is my very first drugstore week, and so I'm really, really excited about it. So I would love to have you subscribe and stick around and be a part of my drugstore week next week. Otherwise, that is all that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.